Chapter 26, Author's Notes. Preb stup flaming stress tree, okay one? If oo do not lick the story, didn't go folk herself oo folking prep, oo sook, one one one. Oh why, and I wasn't being racist, okay one one? A few mutatis later, Vampire came to the tree. He was wearing a black leather jackson, black leather pants, and a good Charlotte t-shirt. Hi, vampire, I said flirtily as I started to sob. Draco hugged me sexily, triumphed to comfort me. I started to cry tears of blood, and then told them what happened. Oh, fuck it, vampire shouted angrily. He first started to cry sadly. What fucking dick did that? I don't know, I said. Now come on, we have to tell Dumbledore. We ran out of the tree and into the castle. Dumbledore was sitting in his office. Sire, our dads have been shot, Draco said while we whipped some tears from his white face. Annaby had a vision in a dream. Double Odre started to cockle. Ha 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 ha. And how do oo expect me to know Ebony's not divisional? I glared at Dumbledore. Look, motherfucker, he said angrily as Dumbledore gasped. K, is that toot of Cracter? Oo know very well that I'm not decisible. Now get some fucking pupple out there and look for Ceres and Lucian Pornto. Okay, he said in an intimidated voice. Where are they? I thought about it. Then all of a sudden, Long Dawn, I said. I told him which street. He went and called some people and did some stuff. After a few mistunes, he came back and said people were going to out to look for them. After a while, someone called him again. He said that they had been found. Draco, Vampire, and I left our rooms together. I went with Draco to wait in the nurse's office while Vampire went to slit his wrists in his room. We looked at each other's gothic, depressed eyes. Then we kissed. Suddenly Sirius and Lucian came in on stretchers, and Professor Sinister was behind them one! 